This segment of the Pasture Soil Health Project video series will introduce the work of Justin Geisinger of Air Hill Acres in Franklin County, Pennsylvania. Justin has a mixed herd of approximately 60 dairy cows, 6 heifers, 12 calves, and 5 steers that graze year-round on 128 fenced acres within the total farm acreage of 162 acres. As of 2014, 75% of the farm acreage is certified organic. Justin's pasture contains a mix of orchard grass, Italian biennial ryegrass, perennial ryegrass, tall and meadow fescue, and red and white clover. Before implementing a grazing system, all but the 30 acres reserved for hay were used to grow conventional crops. Prior to transitioning, uh, you could really see the areas where there was not much topsoil. Major issues with conventional, we had, we had our share of erosion. Um, this field this field used to wash like crazy, even when we did no-till corn into wheat stubble. And we still had washing. And now you come out here during a thunderstorm and you don't see water running off this hill. And some guys think this whole erosion thing is not a big deal, but, and maybe I have too simplistic a view of looking at it, but I pay $6,000 a year in property tax on this farm. Well, why would I pay $6,000 a year on, on organic matter and topsoil to wash off here and go to somewhere else when I want it here to grow my grass? I mean, maybe that's a simple way of looking at it, but that's how I look at it. <laughs> In addition to erosion concerns, Justin is also working to manage drought-prone soils. Yeah, some management issues that we had uh, getting started was the fact that we're on droughty soils. Um, here we are, end of July, and Typically, July, August is when our annual mini drought comes around. Uh, so, the thicker grass stand is 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 our is what we're after, and and with that thicker grass stand would be higher organic matter to allow us to weather through our droughts a little better. Um, we know where the, where our grass stands are thin on some of our ridge tops. Um, those are the first areas to show show drought. Um, and you can clearly, you can take a shovel out there and try and dig there and you can tell there's not the organic matter there. And so we, we're, we're working with different, different aspects to, to try to increase our organic matter on those ridge stumps. As of July 2014, the hilltop pasture tested for this project had 3.7% organic matter. Justin also grazes his dairy herd in the farm's riparian area. This area tested at 4.9% organic matter. The riparian areas are definitely in our rotation. Um, we, we consider it a pasture like anything else out here. At the same time, I think there's some value in managing those stream banks with, with cattle impact. What's important is to not allow those cattle to have too much access to it. Um, Justin's additional long-term goals include working toward having the entire farm be certified organic and acquiring additional acreage. One of my long-term goals would be to, to acquire some more ground. Um, I Every day I, I look at my neighbors and think, where would I put a high tensile fence? Where would I bury a water line? You know, to get that to get that cornfield that's washing out onto the road every time we get a thunderstorm. How, you know, what grass stand would I plant in there? Um, and uh, I, th those are my dreams. That's what I. That's what keeps me up at night. You know, what what more ground could I get to, to convert over to grass? Um, there, when we were when we were confinement, all I did was write checks. Um, there was no there was no money going back to a savings account, and we were buying hay left and right. Feed costs were high, so by going to grazing and letting the cows do more of the work, um, and by uh, Especially this year, since we have less, since we have uh, um, there's less cows and we're not buying as much feed, the cows are doing uh, are doing more of the harvesting. Um, so we're not we're not paying a harvesting bill. We're not buying as much fuel. We don't uh, you know we don't have as much of a need for machinery. Um, manure hauling bill is, is less. Um, you know, just in a lot of ways, just has has benefited us just in that respect. Um, yes, we have. You know, we, since we've gone no grain, yes, we have less less milk, but we don't have a ten thousand dollar feed bill every month. You know, so we we found that we were it was it was costing us uh, twenty two pound of milk just to pay for the feed. So we pulled it. It was a no brainer for us. 
We will return to visit with Justin again and see how he is progressing toward his goals. Please visit the Capital RCND website to learn more about the Pasture Soil Health Project and to discover all that is taking place at participating farms. Thank you for watching.